Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically how we can calculate tax, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a very simple problem here. Phoebe is buying a new TV from the store, and it costs $825. And in her city, she pays a 7% sales tax. So we need to find the amount of sales tax she paid. We need to realize that this sales tax actually comes up of many different items. Any governing authority can tax you when you buy things. So we start from the, the largest, right? So it could be country. So in our case, we're going to deal with the United States of America. And then the state can also add a little bit of a tax on there if, you, if they want to. So in our case, it would be Texas. Then your county might decide to add a tax. And then even the city might decide to add a tax. All of this together, whatever your county and city are, added to your state and country, make a sales tax. And that's why sales tax might change from city to city. They're all anywhere between 7 and 8.5%. But they change a little bit. So how do we calculate this? Well, we just need to make a basic multiplication problem. 825 times 7%. Now, this is not easy to multiply, so we need to change this into a decimal. When we change a percent to a decimal, what we do is we move the decimal twice to the left, because this is out of 100% equals one whole. And so there is no decimal spot there, so we're going to put it where it would normally go, after the ones place. And we're going to move it over once. We're going to move it over twice. So now I've got an empty spot. We're going to put a zero right there. So 7% is equal to 0 0.07 or 7 hundredths because 100% is equal to one whole. That's an easy way to remember it. And so 7% is just a small part of that. So let's multiply our 825 times 0 0.07. We don't really need to multiply by that second digit there, that 0, because we're just going to multiply by that 7. You'll see what I'm talking about. 7 times 5 is 35. So that is going to be 14, 17, 56, 57. I could put an another row, but it look, look, this is what's going to happen. Just a truckload of zeros. So we don't really need that. So we need 57, 75. And we need to remember that we've got one, two digits behind the decimal in our factors. So we need one two digits behind the decimal in our product. So the sales tax, pretty hefty, $57.75 on an $825 TV at 7%. Let's look at another example. Last year, Mr. Jackson earned $230,000. His income tax rate is 13%. So we're going to do the same type of thing. We can calculate income tax rate the same as sales tax. So this is what you have to pay to the IRS every year based on how much you earn. So we're going to do 230000 That's a big one. Times, let's see, times 13%. So how do we change the percent into a decimal? Well, if there's no decimal in the percent, put it at the end. Once, twice, so it's 0.13. So let's just go ahead and multiply that. You notice I didn't put a comma. I don't want to mistake it for a 1. So we're just going to put a whole bunch of zeros, one, two, three, four zeros before we start multiplying, nine, that's six, and then another four zeros, one, two, three, four, 23, and so a bunch of zeros, two, nine, nine, don't forget my two zeros here, and so I've got one, two digits behind the decimal in my factors, so I need one, two. So let's go and rewrite that so it looks a little bit cleaner. So 13% of, let's say, 230,000 equals, look at this, I've got 29900. I can kind of drop that right there. So let's put a comma right there. So Mr. Jackson had to pay $29,900, almost $30,000 on a 13% income tax rate.